welcome to my channel agriculture with Sameer once again and in this video we will be learning about one of the most important topics like mineralization, immobilization and phosphorus solubilizing bacteria so let's learn one of all these terms one by one like the first one mineralization okay So what is this a mineralization? Mineralization is a process. It is a process of decomposition or oxidation. It is a decomposition or oxidation process in which the chemical compounds in the organic matter gets converted into some soluble inorganic form. Like in the soil science or in it is a soil science, soil science term. In the soil, there are certain compounds or during mineralization what happens? So mineralization during mineralization what happens is uh, the process of decomposition okay it uh, is a process where the decomposition decomposition of the chemical compounds okay in organic matter or we can call it as oxidation oxidation or decomposition of the chemical compounds in organic matter so organic compounds they do contain certain amount of elements like nitrogen phosphorus or the sulfur so what happens during mineralization is the chemical compounds which are present in the organic matter it gets uh, decomposed or it gets uh, breaks down it breaks down which makes or helps the plant in uh, gaining the nutrients so mineralization is a useful process for the plant so it is useful for plant useful for plants okay why why it is useful for plants because it makes the availability of nutrients avails avails the nutrients to plants Avoids the nutrients to plants. So mineralization is one of the advantageous process of agriculture or soil, where the chemical compounds gets broken down in the in present in the organic matter, and it's useful for the plants. The plants can uptake. Okay, the plants can uptake their nutrients. Like suppose we can say like nitrogen, nitrogen, phosphorus. sulfur okay so these compounds these elements are generally present in higher concentration in the soil like these are present in higher concentrations higher concentrations in the soil soil profile so when nitrogen phosphorus sulfur are uh, needed for the plants this mineralization it helps in uh, making the nitrogen, phosphorus, and sulfur and different elements available to the plants easily. Like how you will ask that how this mineralization helps. Like it converts, it converts the, it converts the insoluble, it converts the insoluble compounds, insoluble chemical compounds, it converts the insoluble chemical compounds to, okay, to soluble or to soluble inorganic to soluble inorganic forms so when mineralization occurs when mineralization occurs the insoluble chemical compounds they got converted into the soluble inorganic forms so this process has an advantage like it helps in the uptake of nutrients for the plants so the when it com gets converted into nutrients get converted into soluble inorganic forms when nutrients get converted into soluble inorganic forms it, it, it becomes easy for the plants to absorb uh, the nutrients from the soil okay so this is all about mineralization where the decomposition occurs in the organic matter the insoluble compounds get converted into soluble forms okay this is point number one point number two and it's useful for the plants because because it avails the nutrients to plants and generally there is a thumb rule we will be discussing it later like uh, we will say that how mineralization occurs or why the, what is the concentration or what is the effect of concentration of different nutrients during mineralization so this is the first topic mineralization 
now next going to immobilization okay immobilization okay so now going to immobilization immobilization so immobilization is a uh, is just the opposite of mobilization uh, sorry it is the opposite of opposite of opposite of uh, mineralization okay okay so immobilization is a process which is opposite of mineralization like what happens in mineralization we discussed like the chemical compounds in the organic matter they break down or decompose or decay into soluble forms which is available for the plants but in mobilization the problem is the inorganic compounds or the uh, yes the inorganic compounds here what happens is the inorganic compounds gets converted the inorganic compounds gets converted into organic form into organic form or insoluble form and the disadvantage is disadvantage is disadvantage and the disadvantage is it is not available to plants not accessible not accessible to plants and uh, not available to plants is not available to plants so plants cannot observe due to immobilization what happens is due to immobilization a bacteria there, is, there are certain bacteria we will be discussing about it a bacteria it combines a bacteria combines bacteria combines with a nitrogen molecule nitrogen plus okay it combines with nitrogen and it forms sorry it forms it forms plus nitrogen it forms amino acids amino acids plus macromolecules plus macromolecules so immobilization is a process where a bacteria it absorbs the nitrogen or it combines with the nitrogen and it uh, produces some amino acids and macromolecules which uh, this is the process by which this inorganic compounds change into organic form and this organic form its uh, disadvantage is it's not accessible to plants so immobilization is a uh, very disadvantageous process for the uh, soil in the soil that occurs regularly so it is just the opposite of mineralization so mineralization and immobilization are two uh, reverse processes like mineralization the nutrients are available to the uh, plants and in immobilization the nutrients are not available to the plants and the reason being immobilization is bacteria combines with nitrogen to form amino acids and macromolecules but in mineralization what happens is the insoluble form it gets converted into the soluble form so this is all about immobilization now let's discuss that uh, what is a phosphorus solubilizing bacteria about different terms like it comes in different uh, exams in different exams we come across uh, name any phosphorus solubilizing bacteria name any phosphorus solubilizing fungi or what is vam okay and what is ch2 and ratio so before going to all the phosphorus solubilizing bacteria let let us discuss something about mobilization and immobilization a little bit more like what is the uh, common thing in mobilization and mineralization okay so both in mineralization and uh, both in mineralization and immobilization it is dependent on the c is to n ratio okay so mobilization sorry immobilization immobilization and mineralization okay so depends on depends on c is to n ratio so what is the c is to n ratio we will be discussing about the CH2 and ratio in one more video in details like how the carbon nitrogen concentration in the soil affects the availability of nutrients to plant. So this is generally the CH2 and ratio uh, matter like immobilization and mineralization depends on the CH2 and ratio. 
Little bit difference in the CE strain ratio or little bit variable C in the CE strain ratio affects the mineralization and immobilization process completely. So coming to one more thing like immobilization and mobilization occur continuously and concurrently. Occur continuously, continuously and concurrently. So what do we mean by uh, continuously and concurrently? Like uh, in the soil profile, the mineralization and the immobilization are a continuous process, like one after another, as we said, concurrently. Like it's it goes on. Like uh, at at, uh, at this time, it uh, mineralization occurs. At this time, immobilization occurs. So this is a continuous, and one after another. If mineralization is occurred, immobilization will occur. So with this uh, phenomenon, with this particular thing or particular process. The nutrients are available to the plants and sometimes not absorbed by the plants. So this is the uh, main thing in the soil profile that carries out like both immobilization and mineralization. Both immobilization and mineralization are continuous and concurrent, concurrent uh, process or it occurs continuously and concurrently. So this is all about uh, the mineralization and immobilization. So in different uh, exams of uh, the government or different state level university exams of agriculture we get a question like phosphorus solubilizing bacteria phosphorus phosphorus solubilizing bacteria okay so what is this uh, phosphorus solubilizing bacteria okay phosphorus solubilizing bacteria What is this phosphorus solubilizing bacteria? So during the mineralization, okay, during mineralization, during mineralization, okay, we know what is mineralization, decomposition or oxidation of chemical compounds. As the chemical compounds get break down, a phosphorus element, phosphorus, okay, phosphorus element, phosphorus element, okay, phosphorus element is released. Okay. During mineralization, what happens? A phosphorus element is released from the soil. So, this phosphorus element, there is a certain bacteria. Okay, there are certain bacteria, a bacteria or fungi, a bacteria or fungi acts or converts, acts or converts. So, when during mineralization, phosphorus element is released. A bacteria or fungi it converts it converts this this when it is released it is it will be in the insoluble insoluble inorganic form okay so when it gets released it will be in insoluble inorganic form so this bacteria or fungi acts and converts it acts and converts it first uh, into soluble inorganic form so we should uh, remember a point like the insoluble inorganic form is now converted into soluble organic form. So this is the main action of bacteria and fungi on the phosphorus solubilization or mineralization process. So let's now discuss about uh, there are two types of uh, let me give you two examples of uh, phosphorus solubilizing bacteria and two examples of phos phosphorus solubilizing fungi. So in immobilization only bacteria acts on the uh, process bacteria is responsible for the process but in uh, mineralization as phosphorus element is released there may be bacteria and fungi which are uh, responsible for this action okay. so phosphorus solubilizing okay phosphorus solubilizing bacteria and fungi Bacteria we can give Bacillus, Megathelium, Megathelium, Bacillus, Megathelium, or Pseudomonas, Fungi we can give uh, Penicillin. Pilardi or SP 
very gelas apa mori So, phosphorus solubilizing bacteria is an uh, example of phosphorus solubilized bacteria. We should remember it for different uh, intentional reasons like Bacillus nagatorium and Pseudomonas. Phosphorus solubilizing fungi Penicillin bilagi and Aspergillus abamori. So, these are uh, the different bacteria or uh, phosphorus solubilizing bacteria or fungi that are responsible for mineralization process or the phosphorus solubilizing bacteria or mineralization process or mineralization process. Okay. Okay. Versicular arbuscular mycorrhizae. Where? Versicular arbuscular mycorrhizae. This is most effectively used phosphorus solubilizing bacteria. I'll send the process of mineralization. So, this is all about the video of phosphorus solubilizing bacteria. Mineralization, immobilization, and phosphorus solubilizing uh, bacteria or phosphorus solubilizing process during mineralization. Keep liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel.